in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen Dear brothers and sisters I heartily welcome each one of you for the last day's adoration We thank God for the gift of each one of us We thank God for all that has happened during these 33 days for our devotion through Saint Joseph for all the blessings and favors we have received for the intentions and prayers that we have made with the heart's earnestness and love for each other on this day my dear friends we wish to pray for each one of you for having partaken in these adorations for being with one another for being in the presence of our lord for devoting your time and dedicating yourselves through the intercession of saint joseph in the presence of our lord dear friends listen to this lord who has got so many things to tell us listen to this lord who is communicating with us every moment in the silence of our hearts let us pray to him i wish to thank during this adoration thank god for father daigo fernandes who has scripted 
all these adorations for 33 days i wish to thank sister martha teresa anthony of the vedruna congregation who has taken the initiative to give us voices through sister carmen and sister sheetal of the congregation lord i thank you for each one who has attended these adorations we have prayed for people in different intentions for spending some time in your presence though online lord i thank you for all the choir members who have given their dedicated time and voices in melody lord i thank you for all those people who are praying for our channel who have subscribed for our channel and those who are promoting our channel lord we want to grow because we want to spread your word lord help us in our mission we pray for all those who help us in our ministry our benefactors we pray for all those who are our well wishers we pray for all our viewers lord bless us all through saint joseph our patron amen dear brothers and sisters the theme for our today's adoration is consecration to saint joseph today we pray very specially for all the devotees dear jesus we believe that you are here truly present in the blessed sacrament that you see us that you hear us we adore you with profound reverence we beg pardon for our sins and the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful our immaculate mother saint joseph our patron our guardian angels our patron saints intercede for us during this time of prayer and adoration we ask this through christ our lord amen dear brothers and sisters let us listen to the word of god a reading from the gospel of matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 24 the birth of jesus this is how the birth of jesus christ came about his mother mary was pledged to be married to joseph but before they came together she was found to be with child through the holy spirit because joseph her husband was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace he had in mind to divorce her quietly but after he had considered this an angel of the lord appeared to him in a dream and said Joseph son of David do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the holy spirit she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet 
the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel which means God with us when joseph woke up he did what the angel of the lord had commanded him and took mary home as his wife the word of the lord thanks be to god let us remain silent and reflect on the word of god Today in our world where psychological, verbal and physical violence towards women is so evident Joseph appears as the figure of a respectful and sensitive man Even though he does not understand the picture he makes a decision to protect Mary's good name her dignity and her life in his hesitation about how best to act god helped him by enlightening his judgment often in life things happen whose meaning we do not understand our first reaction is frequently one of disappointment and rebellion Joseph set aside his own ideas in order to accept the course of events and mysterious as they seemed to embrace them take responsibility for them and make them part of his own history Joseph is certainly not passively resigned but courageously and firmly proactive In our own lives acceptance and welcome can be an expression of the holy spirit's gift of fortitude 
Only the Lord can give us the strength needed to accept life as it is with all its contradictions, frustrations and disappointments. The faith Christ taught us is what we see in Saint Joseph. He did not look for shortcuts but confronted reality with open eyes and accepted personal responsibility for it. I like to think that it was from Saint Joseph that Jesus drew inspiration for the parable of the prodigal son and the merciful father let us present to our lord all our prayers and petitions lord you are the source of all holiness let us therefore pray to our lord god who gave saint joseph the light and strength he needed to be faithful at all times lord in your mercy hear our prayer for our holy father pope francis our bishop and all priests that they follow the example of saint joseph and lead us through a responsible and dedicated leadership let us pray to the lord lord in your mercy hear our prayer for our christian community may we respect and love each other and be dedicated to our families by following the example of saint joseph Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with responsibility in various ministries of the church, may they set a modern Christian example for the people they lead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all laborers and workers, may Saint Joseph, the worker, inspire us to work wholeheartedly in this world, seeking always to give God glory and be faithful to the duties assigned to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all humanity, that through the intercession of Saint Joseph, we may find the opportunity to have secure employment and a fitting standard of living. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all parents, that during this year of St. Joseph, they may trust the gentle voice of God in discerning what is right for their children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. for all those who protect children from harm that they may look to saint joseph the foster father of jesus as a model of strength and courage let us pray to the lord lord in your mercy hear our prayer for those who are close to death that through the intercession of saint joseph they may experience a peaceful passing into the arms of jesus and mary in the kingdom of heaven let us pray to the lord lord in your mercy hear our prayer 
for all carpenters and construction workers that during this observance of the year of St. Joseph, they may experience safe working conditions and develop a greater appreciation for the dignity of their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That all fathers may model themselves after Saint Joseph, the foster father of Jesus, and guard their children from all harm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we praise you for having led Saint Joseph to serve your son Jesus and his mother so faithfully. Help us to be faithful to our responsibilities and serve you with love. We ask this through Christ our Lord forever and ever. Let us sum up our prayers and petitions to God in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we have faithfully adored the Lord through Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph is a foster father of Jesus, who from day one accepted the responsibility to care and protect Jesus and Mother Mary. Saint Joseph, dear friend, has been also protecting and guiding us throughout this 33 days of adoration, as we had consecrated ourselves to him. Surely, God has blessed us abundantly through St. Joseph. Let us for all the graces received from loving God through St. Joseph, let us continue to glorify the Lord like St. Joseph. Father of us all, hear our prayer we make, protect us all. Mother, head of family, bless us to live happily. Saint Joseph, most prudent, most obedient. You are the head of family, bless us to live happily. Saint Joseph, most Joseph most strong, 
to us you belong We are your children With you we are strong Saint Joseph You are the most faithful The mirror of patience The lover of poverty Saint Joseph You are the most faithful The mirror of patience The lover of poverty Heal Saint Joseph Father of us all Hear our prayer we make Protect us all Hail Saint Joseph Father of us all Hear our prayer we make Protect us all You are the head of family Bless us to live happily Saint Joseph most Prudent, most obedient You are the head of family Bless us to live happily Saint Joseph most prudent, most obedient Saint Joseph most prudent, most obedient Dear brothers and sisters who are present before the Blessed Sacrament, you have come with the hope of receiving God's favor and mercy. Let us pray to Him, the mighty healer, with total trust and hope. He will make everything happen because everything is possible only for Him. Therefore, let us pray to this healer let us raise our hearts and minds to Him in praises as I pray for healing on behalf of you. Lord Jesus, we have come before you at this blessed sacrament to experience your healing touch. Bless us all who are present here with healing and mercy. Lord Jesus, bless all those who are suffering from physical ailments and are suffering for a long time or for a short time. Touch them with your healing touch and let them experience your love and care. Lord, I trust in you that you will heal me from cancer, from tumors, from brain diseases, ear, nose and throat pains, fever and consistent cough, from headache and contagious diseases, from stomachache and skin issues from ulcers and ailments of the sexual organs, from kidney and abdominal pains, from fractures and bones diseases, from Alzheimer's and panics, from all mental and psychological stress, from depressions and financial deficiencies, from hurt feelings and hatreds, from enmity and fights, from families, fights and property matters, from greed for money, property and wealth, from COVID and for all sicknesses emerging from it, from cardio diseases, heart attacks, chest pain, leukemia, Parkinson's, schizophrenia, blood pressure, diabetes, paralysis, pneumonia, cataract, blindness, different allergies, infectious diseases, from digestive problems, from asthma, from natural calamities and sinful acts that do not allow me to progress in life, both in material and spiritual growth, from the aversions of making friends and loving family members, from hatred towards my parents, my brothers, my sisters, in-laws and relatives, from causing hurt feelings to my husband, my wife, my children and neighbors, from hurting my priests and nuns, principal and teachers, from backbiting and gossips, creating conflicts and fights by telling lies, showing disrespect to elders and teachers, 
from this unity and this harmony in life lord you know my weaknesses and my sinfulness i place them now at the altar of the blessed sacrament with total freedom to love you do a favor to me now that i may receive this grace at this moment thank you jesus praise you jesus love you jesus thank you spirit of god sanctifier of humanity purifier of sinners amen 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 let us kneel for the final blessing let us bow in adoration to this sacrament so great here is new and perfect worship all the old must terminate senses cannot grasp this marvel faith must serve to Son and Lord, praise be God the Holy Spirit, try and God and be adored. Teach us how to die. 